It's time to d -d -d delve into this box of Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Uh, as you can probably tell from the video title, uh, what I have in front of me is indeed not Papa Corn's uh, Popcorn Sweet Home Style Popcorn, or indeed the mixed lid that, for whatever reason, like 12-year-old me put on, for the party mix of assorted sugar confectioneries, including hard-boiled sweets. Uh, but is indeed full of Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Now, so I don't know how popular these were or anything, but as a kid, um, obsessed with Pokemon, Digimon, stuff like that, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was phenomenal because for the first few years, it was all about the monsters. I mean, it's still about the monsters now, but for the first few years, you know, you'd see blue eyes everywhere. You'd see Dark Magician on stuff. Um, and so they made a line of, like, small figures. So I'll grab one out for you. Uh, let's go with this one, whatever this is. Ah, now this is Twin-Headed King Rex, I believe. Right, I'm actually going to have to sort the uh, lighting out for a second because... We've got a large amount of sun. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So, um, as you can see, yeah, this is Twin-Headed King Rex, which I believe is Rex Raptors, like, one of his major figures. So, as you can see, they're, they're quite small. I uh, you know, they're like two or three inches large. They're, they're about the same size that those um, Pokemon figures are. Um, and as you can see, they're actually pretty darn detailed. So, what I thought I'd do is, today, I would delve through them. Now... Another aspect of these that I was never really as fond of was the fact that they come with these things, which are kind of like cards. Oh, actually, this this one's a bit uh, translucent. I think, actually, I think a few of them are. And this indeed is Rude Kaiser, as you can see, and will be a figure I'll be pulling out later. So um, I'm probably going to like grab a lot of these out. Maybe um, put them to one side, we look at the cards and then the figures or something. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Right, jump cut again. Alright, I'm back. So, as you can see there, I have my uh, deck ready to go for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Tournament. Uh, and also, I found these, which are kind of like little tiles with the monsters on and stuff. So, this is Rude Kaiser, as we uh, saw just now from that black card and stuff. And, like, it came with other things, so, like... There's a little stand here for, like, little Yugi, uh, if we can get that to focus, which of course we can. Technology. Uh, and yeah, he's on both sides. Let's see. There's, um... Ah, oh, that's uh, Blackluster Soldier, I think. So, I will warn you now, uh, throughout this video I'm going to forget a lot of names. There is Summon Skull, of course. Actually, the artwork on these is pretty cool, and, like... I'm glad they've lasted like this for so long, because uh, a lot of these are cardboard. Now, this is a weird one. So that's, um, that's Maximilian Pegasus' is one, I can't remember his name. Celtic Guardian, Harpy's Dragon, and uh, Summon Skull, I think. I'll Oh man, that's going to be racking my brains uh, for a while now. And we got another one, um, Guy of the Dragon Champion, Rude Kaiser, Blackluster, and... Okay, I don't know what that is, I'll be honest. Uh, let's see. What are the other ones? Ah, that's Harpy's Dragon. Uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon, I think it's called. I can't remember. Um, ooh, okay, this <laughs> this one's pretty interesting. We have Maximilian Pegasus himself. Also, on the back is just the Millennium Puzzle. I can't remember if this was, like, a game within these things, like... I don't know, it seems a bit of a weird one, because, like, no one's buying the figures. I mean, if they come with plastic cards as well, who wants these, like, tough cardboard things? Ah, oh, that's the the triplets, isn't it? The, the three guys that were in charge of, like, the maze. Or are they twins? Am I thinking of someone else? I can't remember. Uh, there we are, we have Maximilian Pegasus is... Uh, thing, the thing whose attack and defence depends on other stuff. Uh, we have Celtic Guardian. Let me go through these quickly. Uh, we have that thing. And I honestly doesn't, don't recognise it. Uh, we've got another Yugi. Ah, okay, well, he's gone. What else do we have? Uh, oh, Time Wizard! Uh, one of my favourite cards, actually. 
Uh, we've got Guy the Dragon Champion again. Got another one of these weird, like, numbered things. Uh, don't know the name of that. That's Maximilian's again. That's another kind of magician. I can't remember. And that's Red Eyes? Is that Red Eyes Zombie Dragon, maybe? Uh, and the last few is that one again, whatever it was. Uh, ah, this is like Maze Driller or something. And the last one is that dragon. I didn't identify at all. And I go pick up Yugi and move these to one side. And then we'll go on to these mysterious black cards. All right, my turn. I draw. I I draw. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, one of my favourite uh, things. Actually, I'm really thankful for this backing light now. Uh, is Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. That is, uh, unironically, actually, one of my favourite cards, because I really like um, pumpkins, and, I don't know, his, like, his weird, like, zombiness and stuff, and actually, man, for, like, because these are hard plastic, for those of you at home, uh, you know, you can't bend them or anything, they've all got weird notches at the bottom, which probably, like, well, they probably interacted with something, like a dual disc or something, maybe you could, like, slide them into. But, anyway, regardless, like, I don't know why they did this, but it worked really well, which is they made everything, like, slightly thin. So, as you can see there, that's quite thick, and that's, like, it's engraved, basically, but that genuinely looks really cool. Uh, so, I don't think it works as well on all of them. Oh, actually, no, I could be wrong. This, uh, I believe is Tristan. Okay, so that, that took me a second, because I thought this was some kind of like weird ninja guy. But that is indeed just Tristan from the anime. Sorry about the uh, jump cut, I had to move the position of my screen. Uh, ooh, okay, so that is Sword Stalker, that's the one. That, I believe, is in Joey's deck. And we may actually see a figure of him, because I think... So a lot of these cards are actually of the figures you got in the packs at the time. Um, but like Tristan, I think some of them aren't as well, which is weird. So uh, this is Sword Arm of Dragon. He is, a, he's just a um, Triceratop, no, not Triceratop, Stegosaurus. So he's not a dragon at all. He is, he's a dinosaur. I don't, okay. Uh, right, next up. Ooh, yo. This is indeed Twin-Headed King Rex, I believe, yes. Man, these cards, actually, as a kid, I kind of wasn't fond of them and just kind of, like, threw them into my big container because I was like, well, I don't really care. But actually, with a bit of backlighting on them, these genuinely look really, really nice. I may, um, may look into, like, displaying some of these, maybe. Yay! Everyone's favourite coin toss... Uh, card for all those gambling addicts out there. It is time, wizard. Uh, I know I'm 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 sounding like more like an old wizard than the um, than Joey there, but whatever. Ooh, okay. I don't remember the name of this one. Mega Zola. Um, I don't know if I got a figure of this. Maybe I do. I'm pretty sure I bought a dinosaur thing. Hence, uh, twin-headed King Rex there. So, oh, right, okay, this is quite a special one, it, as it is indeed the King of Games. You, oh, what? Okay, so that's just called Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, interesting one. So that is actually Yugi or Yami Yugi, I suppose, but yeah, that just says Yu-Gi-Oh, and really doesn't look that good on camera compared to the other ones. Uh, okay, cool, thank you, thank you, Yugi. Um, Next up is Toon, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, sorry, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. I'm I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, again, looking slightly uh, weird. I do like the artwork of these because they look like the um, tablet drawings of these monsters that was in the anime. Uh, you know, which is quite nice because obviously, you know, if you want the actual art, then, well, there's cards with those on. Uh, we have Crass Clone. Ah, yes. The crown, the crown, the clone that uh, rolls on his little ball thing, I think. I don't remember who used him in the anime, I'll be honest, but I did buy the pack with him in, so we will be seeing him later. This is Harpy's pet dragon, I do believe. Yes, it is. Hey, 
There we are, I do remember some of these names. That's a pretty cool looking one, although that doesn't work quite as well, I think, because they have to make that really thin for the ends of his wings. They have to make the engraving of this one a little bit thicker, so he doesn't come across quite as well. But you know, kudos for trying. Ooh, this thing. What is his name? Ka Kan Kai Kairu Shin. Kairu Shin. Okay, well. Man, they didn't they didn't really bother translating that one, did they? It's like a worm drake thing. Is worm drake its own card or is that a magic the gathering thing? I know there's something called worm drake. Uh maybe I'll maybe I'll Google it. Uh is this oh okay, that's Kyber, is it? Yeah, that is indeed Kyber. Couldn't quite, like, okay, now I can see him really well, but from, like, this angle, I couldn't really make his hair out very well. Man, yeah, that's a pretty cool-looking Kyber. Although, like, there, okay, you can kind of make him out there, but, um, you know, again, maybe not the best translated. I think this is my boy Red Eyes. And indeed is Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, often, you know, the kind of champion of the people who didn't like Blue Eyes quite as much. I really liked Red Eyes just because um, he's the only dragon I ever had um, as a kid. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, doesn't come out very well at all, really, in card form. Uh, as he is just like a mass of black engravings and stuff. Yo, okay, this looks pretty good. This is Dragon Piper. Yeah, Dragon Piper. That's, um, that had the effect, I think, to kind of... I can't remember what his effect was now. Is like to banish dragons or to summon them? I can't remember. Ah! This is Black Skull Dragon. So, I always thought he was Red Eye Zombie Dragon, but I think that's another card that's completely different. I cannot remember. We are nearing the end of this stack now, and of course we got the flamboyant man himself, Pegasus. So oh, why didn't they put Maximilian? I mean, they've got the room to put like Red Eyes Black Dragon, but not Maximilian. Uh, yo, okay. Oh yeah, this is um, Armored Zombie. Yeah, this this is a really cool um, figure as well. But man, that card. See, a lot of these translate really well, and others then, I don't know, I feel like kind of let down a bit by... Uh, ooh, this is Curse of Dragon, is it? Yes, Curse of Dragon. Another really nice looking card, actually. It's, um, yeah, quite like that turned out. What is our last one? And our last one is another Rude Kaiser. Oh, okay then. Um, pretty sure I've only got one Rude Kaiser, but whatever. So yeah, so that's the uh, bundle of cards, of like plasticky card things. Now, each of them do, or some of them do, okay, maybe not each of them then, but some of these come with like a little poking out bit that you can make out there, because a lot of these figures, not all of them, but a lot of them have um, holes in their feet that you'd like put them on, and you could like display them on their card, I guess. Which is kind of cool, but I remember as a kid was really, really thin. There we are, actually, no, wait. There we go. So we got him. Like, it's cool, but if you, you've got to kind of lay them down then. If you do that, they're a lot harder to make out what's on the card. Because these kind of need light, I suppose, to see. But, um, yeah, so I'll clear these out of the way, and then we shall delve into this box of figures. Alright, I'm back. So, it's uh, time to look at the figures again. I'm just admiring Twin-Headed King Rex, that is another figure that I've kind of realised is a lot more detailed than I thought it was when I was younger. So, um, I've got a bit of a weird angle here, but I think this is probably for the best. So, I'm going to grab these out really randomly. Um, and so, next up, we've got the Piper of All Dragons, Dragon Piper. I'll stop with the weird intros. Um, and yeah, as you can see, a lot of these, the stands have the little holes in there, um, just to like put on their cards and stuff. Uh, yeah, Dragon Piper, it's a really interesting design and stuff. Like, uh, some of these monsters I'm genuinely kind of surprised they bothered to make figures of. Because like, I mean, you know, I guess for some of them, they're like popular enough, but 
I guess they thought they were maybe on to something kind of like Pokemon or whatever with this series. So they thought, whoa, let's just make figures of everything. Ah, there we are. Now this is Black Skull Dragon. A very nice figure. This is definitely one of my favourites growing up. Uh, yeah, like, ah, uh, just the, the colouring and stuff, like the shading. There's the, you know, dark red on the black and stuff. Man, just... Ah, his design. Um, also, yeah, for the record, I've pulled a couple of these out yesterday just to inspect that, like, nothing was broken and stuff. But, um, ah, oh, the nostalgia. Let's rush him back. And as I said at the start, I don't know how popular these things were. Like, I know they made figures for a good year, at least. Um, but, like, after that, I can't... You know, I, I don't think I kept up with them. I think I kind of stopped collecting them. Uh, these are probably worth a little bit. Not like, you know, I, I'm not talking big bucks, but sort of like in terms of a Yu-Gi-Oh figure collection, I'm sure a lot of people would pay a little bit of money for these now because uh, definitely haven't made these in years. So this is Sword Stalker. Um, I'm just kind of admiring them myself, really. Uh, should be making a slightly better video, but whatever. Uh, his face always reminded me a bit of the Tick. If that makes sense. Like, he looks kind of a massive grin and his weird pointy ear things. Um, but yeah, Sword Stalker. Really cool. Really cool guy. Um, right, so... <laughs> so this tin isn't just Yu-Gi-Oh figures, I realised. Um, if, if anyone remembers the show Butt Ugly Martians. A uh, really bad 3D, uh, like, CG TV show about aliens and stuff. This is one of the guys from it. I think I'm almost certain I put him in because I needed more duelists, as in like, you know, to play out the duels and stuff. Um, I think I just kept him there as a, like, oh, he looks like he could probably play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, right, we have Curse of Dragon. This is one of the most defining figures for me of the set. Uh, and again, like, all the just little details and stuff of all the red and, you know, kind of like the plating between the things. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, this isn't, like, stellar uh, printing. It is it is still that, like, PVC kind of, like, gummy feeling stuff. You know, and it does bend a little bit. But yeah, Curse of Dragons a pretty cool looking uh, thing too. I'll put him in front of Dragon Piper. Uh, right, next up. Oh, yay! There we are. Everyone's favourite. Uh, well, not everyone's favourite, actually. It's a Toon version of everyone's favourite. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Very cute uh, thing here. I don't think I have a Blue Eyes, actually. I think I just have the Blue Eyes tune. Um, and yeah, pretty cool looking mould, to be fair. Uh, I don't know if tunes are even used anymore, are they? Toon cards? If you play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, let me know. Oh, okay. I actually forgot I had um, Harpy's Pet Dragon, so... Man, what a mess of colours he is. It's like green, there's yellow, there's pink. No, to be fair, there's just three colours. There's not a mess. And yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Actually, he's got the same foot kind of position as Twin-Headed King Rex there. So I don't know what set he came in. Because these all came in sets of like three figures, I think. Or like, or sometimes they'd be like three figures and they'd come with a duelist or something, you know? So... That's uh, that one. What is next? Something is caught on something else. Yay! Okay. Uh, ooh, yeah! Okay. One of my favourite figures. Um, I'm probably going to be saying that for about 20 different figures, which means that none of them were my favourite, or all of them were. We have Gaia the Fierce Knight. Now, kudos to them for making a horse figure, but managing to make it like reasonably sized, because... I mean, I know it's meant to be mid-gallop, but the horse looks in pain, I'll be honest. But, like, Guy himself, Guy is looking pretty cool. He's got those dual, dual lancers and stuff. Ah, it's such a cool figure. Um, yeah, I'm, I, may, I may, like, display some of these, I think. I think they're worth it. Ooh, okay, Armoured Zombie. Now, this is a really interesting one, because he's like a... He's a samurai zombie, which is even more interesting, really. Ah, now, that 
sword could do with a beard of straightening out. I think it's just kind of slightly bent over the years of, you know, how it's been placed. Oh, yeah, and he's got, like, arrows in him and stuff. Yeah, that's right, I remember now. He's, um... Yeah, he was always, like, a very, very weird one. Uh, but I, I really like the design. Very, like... Almost like a heavy metal album from the 80s, you know? Sort of... Uh, next up... Ah, no... This was the one, the something Kiryu Shin or something. I can't remember. Look, he's not he's not a very popular <laughs> thing. I don't think I bought the set for this. I can almost guarantee you. Also, his teeth are red. Uh, I mean, pretty sure they're meant to be white, but you know, I'll let it slip because the rest of him looks really good. And I will say, right, all of these are molded in really nice sort of like dramatic ways and stuff oh yo okay mvp coming through actually i don't think he was ever all that mvp ish his like his attack and stuff was like 2500 or whatever um but yeah summon skull looking pretty cool actually he's quite like a you know uh a well put together monster really he's sort of I can never really work out. He's kind of a zombie. Well, I mean, summon skull, I suppose. In um, in the Japanese, I think he's got a cooler name, and I can't remember what it is. Yeah, he's got those little two blue wings, which would suggest that I guess the rest of him what used to be blue before he died and like decomposed. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Next up, we have the king of games himself. Please focus. It is Yugi with. Not a fantastic face, I will be honest with you. That's not the best looking Yugi. Uh, he is right zoomed up there. Um, yeah, he looks a little bit di dirty. Um, but you know, overall, like in terms of a very tiny figure, and so I, re I always loved the cape. They got the cape looking really, really dramatic. It wasn't just like a have it below out a bit, but it was like, no, no, this looks like it's made of fabric. Also, his cards are massive. Like, that card there is... I mean, I suppose if he's got like three cards or something. His hair is looking pretty good as well. Don't think it's quite that complete pink at the back. But yeah, I mean, you know, having a Yugi is never a bad thing. Now, he doesn't stand very well, I don't think. Aha! I'm talking about Yugi. Uh, by pure chance, actually, we have Exodia the Forbidden One. Now, this guy, I always felt as a kid that they didn't quite paint him correctly. Like, it feels like there's a few bits that are sort of orange that maybe could have had a bit more detail or whatever. But overall, I mean, he is Exodia uh, and he does obliterate. So, you know, uh, man, we've still got loads left. How many? Okay, so we've got uh, red eyes. How red are his eyes? Let's wait for the for the focus. Um, oh, okay, there we are. You kind of see it. Um, it is very light out, and he is almost completely black, so it's very difficult to make out details. But yeah, I always felt red eyes, they kind of made him a little bit small and dinky. Uh, the figure, the sort of, he didn't feel very imposing, he felt like a sort of, I don't know, a, like a worm, kind of drake, you know, kind of a smaller dragon thing, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. But yeah, um, you know, still really cool though, loving the wings um, and his red eyes, which are very nice as well. Next up, uh, ooh, 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 <laughs> okay. This guy's, this guy's looked better, I think. But we have a Dark Magician. Now, two things here. His staff... Mm, his staff's a bit annoying. Thank you, very loud car. Uh, and also, his paws. Like, he looks like he's sitting down or something. Also, his hands are huge. He looks like he's sitting down or something, but he really... He should just be standing up. Surely they could have, like, just given him a base. Like, a lot of these figures have, you know, that long black base thing. 
could have just been standing up or whatever. So he does look a bit derpy. He was never like my favourite figure, despite the fact I really like Dark Magician as a uh, card and stuff. And like Dark Magician girl, you know, best girl. Aha! Aha! Right then. Time for Pumpkin. Very, very simple figure, this, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's just a pumpkin. It's got tentacles and a crown, one eye, and a massive, massive smiley face. But man, I really liked this figure particularly because of his simplicity. Like, I think I used to have him on like a cabinet or something to show off my coolness to all the people. Okay, this is another non Yu Gi Oh thing. This is, um, so I don't know if this is official, but I feel like this is part of the ultimate muscle kind of um, Kinku Man thing. I never really had them as a kid. Uh, in, he may have been from something else, actually. I think my mother bought me, like, some cheap wrestling figure monster things when I was younger. Uh, and I always threw him in with the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, just because, honestly, he looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Like, it, it wouldn't be a massive jump to kind of believe this is like Cactus Man or something. You know, there's... Uh, so yeah, he joined my play sessions from time to time. Uh, oh yeah, ooh, hoo hoo. Man, they didn't make these do lists very well, did they? This is Joey Wheeler, uh, everyone's favorite Brooklyn from Japan. Uh, yeah, so like, also they've got the whole cape thing going on again, you know, with it like billowing and stuff. I mean, he's cool, it's just his proportions are a bit weird, like, if his arm was all the way down, it'd be like past his knee. Also, that card is giant, Joey. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are not meant to be bigger than your face. Uh, and I can't really see his, ex his expression too well. Uh, sort of, man. Yeah, that's not a great face. But again, you know, these were like six pound maybe for like, I don't know. How many? Uh, three or four figures. Ah, there we are. We got Time Wizard, who actually doesn't look too bad there. Like, I feel like they could have given him a slightly better pose, and uh, he's not quite as bright in real life for some reason. Man, I just can't get the lighting today, and I'm not changing it again. But um, yeah, he, he looks a bit neutral, kind of like um, I don't know. He reminds me a bit of uh, the clock guy from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. But you know, he is. Uh, he is one of my favourite. Again, hats off to the cape thing. They didn't just make like a sheet of plastic. They actually gave him a flowing cape. Uh, ooh, right. Okay, so next up is Flame Swordsman. Now, some of you with attentive eyes may be thinking, hey, hey hang on, hang on, sorry. Um, Flame Swordsman is not completely metal. Well, this came with two others, or maybe one other, I can't remember. Uh, figures that were just metal. They were meant to be like metallic versions of them. Uh, we'll see some later on, I believe. I don't have too many left, actually. Oh, right, okay. So we have the... Um, we have the sort of uh, Triceratops monster thing. I'm not going to lie. Completely forgot I owned this. Um, this barely even looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh figure, to be fair. Just further proving that they'll basically kind of... They made just figures of everything in the early days because they were like, this is going to take off. Everyone's going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh for years. And they they were right, just, you know, with the car, uh, with the cards rather than the figures. We have Rude Kaiser, of course. The guy that showed up twice. Do I have two Rude Kaisers? I don't know. Pretty, pretty standard-looking lizard man. Uh, Soul Calibur fans will be pleased to know. Ah! There we are, so we have Metallic Exodia, which, I've got to admit, looks really cool. Like, as I said, you know before with the whole, ah, uh, they could have painted a bit more? Well, they've detailed this guy phenomenally well. Oh, well, really well there, maybe not phenomenally, but like, I don't know, it really adds to it. It's like they've made a sculpture of, like, you know, a, a famous guy from Greek mythology or whatever. And instead, it's from Egyptian mythology. Ooh, and I think, I don't know if we're ending on this one. The, um, the Stegosaurus thing, or the Arm of Dragon, I think he was called. Again, 
uh, it's going to be really difficult to be able to look at that and be like, oh yeah, of course that's from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, actually, no, we have one last uh, figure, and that is Clone Zombie. So, um, yeah, this hideous thing, basically. Although I did actually like this set. This came with Pumpkin and, I think, uh, Armored Zombie. And, like, they were all, you know, weird Halloween-y kind of spooky-themed stuff. And, yeah, this, like, you know, it's not bad. It's, it, it's exactly what you'd expect of a clone zombie, really. So, um, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll drop the camera down. I'll be right back. So, that about wraps it up for my look at um, my old Yu-Gi-Oh! figure collection. Um... You know, if you collected these yourself, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a quick look on eBay as well, see if there's like a collector's market for this. Not that I want to get rid of any of them. I am for sure keeping these for the foreseeable future, just because they're like a little bit of nostalgia. Like back when Yu-Gi-Oh was the biggest thing. Like kids were getting really excited. For Yu-Gi-Oh! I think actually I have a very large Blue Eyes White Dragon toy. I think I've still got it. That I got for like my 12th birthday. Uh, never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! Didn't know what the hell it was. But I was like, yo, there's a big silver dragon. Buy me that shit. So, yeah. If you sat through all of this, well done to you. It's almost like half an hour or just past half an hour. And as always, if you want to see more videos of random collections uh, with me rambling in the background, then you can subscribe to my channel. That's about it. Thanks.